This week's episode is brought to you by the Resources for Parents page on jjie.org. So welcome back to The Ish, and this week we were talking about high school confessions and all the crazy ways that uh, people would get in trouble back in high school. But since we never got in trouble, we went to Catholic school. We didn't have a chance. Uh, we had to go outside of our own collective experience, and so we we hit up uh, YouTube sensation slash hip hop artist Watsky, who had a little freestyle battle against his gym teacher. He used to carry a boombox around with him, and he just kind of threw it down, press play, and went at it. I said. Mr. XYZ, can I use the bathroom? And he said, no, you wait until the bell rings like everybody else. And I said, come on, I really have to go really bad. Can I please use the bathroom? And he said, no, you'll wait like everybody else. And I thought that the coolest thing that I could do at the time was to take my boom box, set it down, and to start freestyle battling at this gym teacher. I won't so to sum it up, when Wofsky got to his next class, he was called to the office. And there were two officers waiting for him, reading his Miranda rights. Because the teacher, the gym teacher, felt threatened when Watsky said, I will lyrically destroy you. The phrase in question was, lyrically destroy you, I will lyrically destroy you. And those, are, those are scary words, you know, I'm getting nervous. The gym right teacher now. thought so. Yeah. So, you know, the two officers, they didn't end up arresting him, but he did get suspended for a, a whole entire week. So. And then, you look, comparatively speaking, a few years later, you see Shaquanda Cotton, who actually got seven years in prison for pushing a hall monitor. It's not all right when you still have our children going to prisons, uh, you know, for nothing. It's not all right just to be quiet. And some, some of the black people honestly believe that if they just don't rock the boat, it's not going to happen to them, but it eventually does. All right, so the story actually got a lot of media attention, and uh, the jury in the case convicted her within 10 minutes to seven years in jail, and uh, that caused a lot of public outcry and actually got the uh, got that overturned. Within a matter of weeks, she was out of prison. Yeah, so I think we're seeing that more today with shows like Beyond Scared Straight, where kids are getting in trouble for stuff that is ending them up in the juvenile justice system when they not, might have normally just, you know, got detention at school. Right. Yeah, they're doing things that, you know, I would have been perfectly fine just getting detention. That would have turned me around on a lot of stuff. You know, I didn't, so I don't know if it's the kids are getting worse or if the system is just getting tougher. All right, so now we're going to pick a winner for this week. Looks like... Angela Flores, 